Hello, I'm Claire, and I'll be the host for my show, Netflixers 2023. In this show, I'll be sharing a movie review that's on Netflix, and that mainly comes up in 2023. I did highlight mainly since I feel like I want to review old movies or like movies that correspond with seasonal events sometimes, but um, yeah. So today I'll be sharing a review by myself, but I hope I can invite some guests on my following episodes. So let's get started. On my first episode, um, I would like to start off with this movie, The True Spirit. It just came up in February, so yes, this show actually does capture up-to-date Netflix reviews. So, I'll start off with some basic um, information and the plot. So, True Spirit, directed by Sarah Spillane, and I'll read um, the description that was written on Netflix. Um, True Spirit, a tenacious Australian teen chases her dreams and faces her fears as she sets out to become the youngest person to sail solo around the world. And the story was also based on a true story by Jessica Watson, who navigated the oceans around the world and survived over 200 days alone at sea to become the youngest person to sail solo nonstop around the world at an age of 16. So, going back to the plot, but what made you think after reading this description? When I read the description, it kind of like made me think like, oh, is it like an ordinary adventure story with like a lot of hardships? But this movie kind of like, it actually let me think a lot about decision making, the loneliness you would encounter during an, during an unpredictable journey, and the power of following your strong desires. And some questions that I came up with were like, what would you do in a situation where you cannot take control of your own decision? In many cases, we learn how to take control of our lives. Like, especially I'm a student at DePaul and my main role here is academics. So if you like really work hard, then you can like, you know, control your own life. But it re really reminded me of some situations where you can't control your, your life by yourselves and something that you can't blame on anything. Since Jessica, the main character, was encountering nature, which is so unpredictable, it made me think about where her frustration and loneliness would point to. But some things that saves her throughout the movie was her strong desire and the decisions she made by herself and the beauty of nature. Well, I've talked a lot about the plots, the storyline, and the themes, but I am a film watcher who loves beautiful cinematography and the music that makes the film so aesthetically pleasing. But I would say that the film had the very classical style of cinematography, which I thought was really beautiful, well capturing the nature of the world, and also the music kind of like well matched with the overall tone of the movies it was trying to port like movie that it was trying to portray. So I feel like this movie could be a movie that you can watch anytime like when you want to enjoy, relax, motivate, energize, and also to sympathize. So it will like definitely give you energy and become like, it would really turn you positive. So it was really, really great and I hugely recommend this movie. So how did you like my first review? Um, I would also like you to participate in a poll on official Instagram of D3TV and maybe tell me your favorite movies of all time or any requests of movies that you might want to see a review. So, thank you so much for watching this episode and see you on the following episodes. Bye!